You guys want some financial advice? Go fund yourself. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Investments and Refreshments. My name is JT, and today we're going to be talking about an ETF and seeing if it just might blast the ETF off. While we talk about that, I'm going to be trying this bad boy right here. This is a Subatomico from the Southern Star Brewing Company, the first craft brewery to can craft beer in Texas. It is a juicy IPA with an ABV of 5.3%. I'll be reviewing this at the end of the video, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So without further ado, let's talk ETF. So today we're talking about VanEck Vectors Social Sentiment ETF, ticker symbol BUZZ. This is a large cap growth ETF, which aims to track the price and yield performance of the BUZZ Next Gen AI US Sentiment Leaders Index or BuzzTR, which tracks the performance of the 75 large cap US stocks, which show the highest degree of positive investor sentiment and bullish perception. Buzz went public on March 14th of 2021 with a share price of $23.52. From that time, we've seen that price rise about 4.2%, and when compared to the S&P 500, Buzz outperformed by about 3%. The ETF, backed infamously by Dave Portnoy, was actually started in 2016, but was shut down a few years later due to a lack of investor interest. This year has provided a type of perfect environment for an ETF like this to thrive, being backed by AI who is tracking the sentiment of investors on social media due to the recent surge of retail investors into Wall Street and leaving their opinions of stocks on Twitter and Reddit. Let's just now take a look at what they're currently invested in and how they're navigating the sell-off that's happening on Wall Street right now that's hurting some of their contemporaries like the ARK funds or QQQ. So the recent sell-off has really been affecting the high growth, small to medium cap stocks with the tech sector doing the most bleeding. This is due to increasing yields on bonds, which causes interest rates on debt to go up, something that small or new companies tend to have a healthy amount of. So now let's take a deep dive into the current open positions that Buzz has. So as you can see in this sheet, I've broken down the positions that they have that I like in green the ones I'm indifferent on in yellow, and the ones I don't care for in red. So 58.27% of their current portfolio, or portnoy folio, is good. 34.9% is not great, and 6.8% is bad. Those numbers aren't bad for an index fund, and I'm expecting a decent performance from this ETF in the future. I'm going to be buying conservatively, but I personally prefer an actively managed ETF like the ARK funds, but different strokes for different folks. In a year, I'm going to set our price target for Buzz at $34. It might not make like Buzz, Lightyear, and blast off into space, but I don't think that it's going to be a complete Buzz either. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research before making any sort of investments. I'm just a guy who likes talking about stocks while enjoying a cold beer. I want to remind you guys to always invest responsibly and only drink responsibly. All right, guys, now that we've broken down the buzz around buzz, let's talk about a different kind of buzz. The kind I'm getting from the Subatomico from the Southern Star Brewing Company. This thing is crisp, refreshing, the front end is sweet, it is packed with citrus juiciness, but it is not too hops forward. So if you prefer an IPA to be extremely hoppy, this might not be the one for you. The hops kind of comes in on the back end and plays a supporting role to the sweetness it is a nice, harmonious IPA. <laughs> yeah, harmonious. It's a nice, harmonious IPA that I really enjoy. And I will probably be buying more of these. I really recommend this. I am going to rate this beer a 
six out of five. I really liked it. And I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you did, please drop a like down below, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell icon. Uh, if you have any feedback for this video, any ideas for future videos, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck in your investments.